After driving 12 miles down a rugged and isolated road, and hiking nearly two miles on a path that switches back through Lexington Canyon, you'll find Lexington Arch. This six-story limestone feature is so concealed by the landscape that it is not until you are nearly upon it that it becomes visible. Lexington Arch may look like an arch, as its name suggests, but is it really? When we refer to something as an arch, we are not only implying that it has a certain shape, but that that shape has formed through a particular geological process. When we take a second look at Lexington Arch, the story becomes more complex. Lexington Arch is probably not an arch. It is most likely what we refer to as a natural bridge. During the past interglacial period, this canyon floor would have stood much higher. Meltwater could have easily carved out a portion of the limestone, leaving this bridge behind. Or did something else occur? Is Lexington Arch what remains of a cave system that has since eroded away? It is hard to imagine this formation underground, but if not, then why do we find flowstone? a formation that is commonly found in caves near this feature. Water and limestone create a unique geological landscape in which water is the creative force, carving through the limestone, creating cave systems beneath and rock formations above. It is a force that ties these two seemingly different spaces together, just as it ties these mountain ranges to the valleys below. One is not without the other, and its apparent lack is all the more pronounced when we say that this is an area defined by water. There are likely things beneath us that we have yet to understand, and it will take multiple lifetimes before they are exposed. But until that time, we can stare in awe at what has already been left behind. <laughs>